Hey, happy Easter from Jim, from Jim's Holy Sepolius. I just wanted to make a video about, um, say you have a coleus that you really like, as you have only one. Um, what you can do, one option you can do if you want to make other plants, rather than going out trying to find one or growing it from seed, uh, another option that you can do with coleus plants, what's neat about coleus is how easily you can root them. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with rooting, uh, basically what you can do is I'm going to have a, give you an example. This is a plant that I, this is two years old. This is a beautiful coleus. I'm actually going to have to repot this because it's, it's huge. You can actually see um, it's almost like a trunk now. It's so old and it's such a, a beautiful, strong coleus plant. And this has been indoors that it's actually like a, a tree, almost like a tree. So I'm going to pot this. I'm going to repot it because it's just, it's grown beyond this pot um, so but I, this is the only one I have so what I'm going to do is I, I don't have any other smaller plants and it needs to be trimmed so rather than throw out the uh, the branches I'm going to root them and put them in water and how you do that is again I, I took some rootings from here here's some some long uh, branches because they want to grow tall and high I just snipped a bunch of of branches off of this coleus and what you do is you take yourself some bud vases or anything but you want something that has some depth to it and you put your cutting in water and after about four days Um, after about four days, you're going to start getting some growth. You're going to get roots growing. You'll see roots start to form. And again, let's see if we can get that on the camera here. You'll start seeing the white roots. There we go. You'll start seeing white roots, like little spaghetti strands, start to form. And give them a few days. It should take about four or five days but you don't have to let them uh, grow real long. You, you can leave them in a bud vase if you want. Uh, some people do that uh, and let, let them form. But once you start getting some root growth, next stage, if you want to pot them, is you take your pots, a nursery pot or whatever type of pot you want with your potting soil, uh, stick your finger down the center, make sure it's deep enough, and place your cutting with roots down into the soil make sure the soil covers the roots completely pat around gently and then you want to water it immediately all right i did a number of now again this is this is an established plant it's the only one i have and i want to make a bunch of smaller plants so um again i'm rooting about uh six or seven i'll probably root around ten plants So um, again, uh, here's another example I, of some rootings I just did. Uh, this is that black stockings coleus that I had. And same thing, I just took a branch that was starting at long and I trimmed it, put it in water for about four days. And once the root started to form, I uh, potted it. Now you can see they naturally are going to bend like that. Uh, after a few days you're going to see this straighten out like all plants and eventually it'll start facing the sun so that's again uh, why you rotate your plants around um, when they're in pots like this because they're always going to they're going to move from one side to another to, to, to face the sun. So I, better, I, I did a bunch of these, I did a bunch of, of the black stockings and there's a couple of other Coleus, these are Lord Voltimores. And again, with these, uh, once you pot them, uh, you have these larger leaves on the bottom. You're going to start getting some new growth on the bottom. So what you want to do is cut these larger leaves. You don't need these leaves here because these are taking away all that, especially this is dead. Um, it's taking away the energy from the bottom. So you'll, you'll by cutting these larger leaves, you'll promote the uh, new growth faster because the, the, all that other energy that would be otherwise going to these leaves will be transferred to the new growth. So again, here's another one that has some new growth coming in. So it's a Lord Voltimore. 
is a Lord Voltimore with some some new growth. And again, um, I trimmed a lot of the larger leaves. Even these two larger ones here, I can trim off, and that will that'll help out these bottom these new little bottom growths coming in. Because again, all the energy that you that the plant's using uh, to keep these alive when these are gone will be transferred to these. These little guys will get the energy faster, and you'll, uh, you know, your your plant will grow faster, or so forth. So, all right. So that's a that's a neat thing about coleus plants. You can, uh, it's endless. You can you can just keep as it grows. It just keeps growing all through the season. You can just cut, trim the growth, and uh, make rootings if you want. So it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful coleus plant. And again, this is this is uh, two years old. This is a real beautiful coleus, nice. But it's time to go into a larger pot. Uh, what's happening now is uh, because it's a small pot, it, it's it's all root. It's just the roots are just taking over all the soil and all the nutrients. This is this is being kept alive by uh, um, time release uh, fertilizer capsules. But it really needs to. Um, as healthy as it looks, it really needs to go into a big pot. And I potted this, I grew this from a single seed uh, about two years ago. And I just kept this plant in this pot, in this planter. And I just keep it around and, and this does really well. So, alright, so uh, if you're interested in rooting coleus, I hope this helps out. Um, and again, it's it's difficult as difficult as it is to trim these to throw these away. Uh, it's 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 important to trim your coleus uh, leaves, as the, I'll do videos later on in the season on how to uh, on why we have to trim the leaves uh, to promote the bottom growth. Makes it grow. Makes the uh, the plant. If you're making an ornamental or pot or whatever, you don't want a tall tall plant. You want a nice short plant like this here a nice bushy uh, full tabletop arrangement and by again this thing just this will just keep growing up and up and up and out and out so I just keep trimming it and uh, again there's no reason why if you really like your plant you love your plant there's no reason why you can keep it alive for years two years old two years old so all right I hope this helps out. And again, thank you everybody for following Jim's Holiest Coys. I hope everybody has a great Easter weekend. Take care.